Hello, in this video I'm going to take a look at how to add RAM to a Synology Disk Station 1815+. Plus. So let's get started. First, remove all of the disk trays. You may want to remember where the disk trays were located if they have hard drives in them. Next we're going to remove the old RAM. Note that Synology says removing this RAM voids your warranty, so only do it if that's something you're okay with. If that's something you'd rather not do, you can skip to later in the video where I show you the other RAM slot that Synology officially supports. To release this RAM, you have to push two brackets outwards and then the RAM will pop up. It can then be removed through the hole just above the processor's heatsink. Now we need to insert the new RAM. So, Keep the old RAM for later, take your new chip, make sure the small side is on the left and the big side is on the right, and then insert it through the same hole that you removed the RAM previously. You're going to have to do a little bit of work to line it up. And once it's lined up and inserted, simply push it down until you hear a click. Now that that's installed, we're going to remove the case and install the next RAM chip. So, flip your NAS around, and then using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws here, 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 and here. Now that that's done, we're going to remove the outer shell by pulling it backwards towards yourself, and then lifting it up. Set the case to the side, and then turn the NAS so you can see the second RAM slot. Simply insert the RAM until you hear a click, and you're done. Put the case back on, and add the screws. Once that's done, you're going to want to turn your NAS around and put the drive trays back in the same place as they were. Now to make sure everything worked, let's go ahead and run memtest. Open Synology Assistant, right click on your NAS, click Memory Test, then click Next, enter your admin password, then click Finish. It'll take a little bit for the memtest to get started. The NAS will reboot, and then it will give you a message that says the memory test has been started. It may take a few hours for the memory test to complete, but once it's done, you can use SSH to log into your NAS, then type the command seen on your screen to search for memtest results. You're looking for something that says memtest pass. If your memtest passed, you know everything's pretty good. And if you go into resource monitor, you should be able to see that your NAS now has 16 gigabytes of RAM or however much RAM you decided to add. Hope that helps.